On April 20th, 2010, the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig exploded off the coast of Louisiana. Eleven workers were killed, and the rig sank into the Gulf of Mexico. The rig's blowout preventer, one and a half kilometers below the sea's surface, failed to stop the well from venting unrestricted into the Gulf. For three months, the well gushed into the sea, ultimately releasing around 575 million liters of oil and natural gas into the ocean. This was the largest oil spill in American history, and the first major incident that involved oil gushing directly from the seabed. The ecological impacts of this traumatic spill are still emerging. The oil itself dissipated from the surface in only a few weeks after the well was sealed, but research is indicating that some of the oil has settled into the sea floor, and millions of liters might still be in the water column in subsea plumes. The state of Louisiana initiated a project at the height of the spill to build sand berms along the coast, with hopes of preventing the oil from penetrating the fragile coastal marshes. This project was funded by BP and has been widely criticized by coastal scientists as not only ineffective against the oil, but potentially harmful to coastal hydrology and ecology. Another point of controversy relates to the use of chemical dispersants to break up the oil. Some coastal scientists are concerned that toxic dispersants are entering the food chain and will eventually contaminate fisheries and bird rookeries. The long-term impacts of this spill will be felt for decades. The economic impacts on Louisiana's coastal communities are immense. The state of scientific inquiry lags behind the nature and scale of this oil release. The research community has many years of experimentation and methodological innovation ahead of it to get a better sense of the spill's impacts on sea life and the region's estuaries.